Tim Lambesis is back in the news, and you know what that means. It's time to send for the hitman. Disturbing video footage of As I Lay Dying singer Tim Lambesis has surfaced onto the internet, and that means I gotta make another video on this guy. But before I do, hey, hi, hello, my name is Dan Frampton, this is my YouTube channel, hope you're having a great day, and if you're in America, happy Thanksgiving. Here in Canada, it's not Thanksgiving, it's just another day over here, so how's about I just make a quick little video for you. And you know how it goes, if you comment within the first three hours, I guarantee I will reply. Three hour gang is serious business. If you've been with the channel over the last month or so, you know that I made a couple videos on the As I Lay Dying situation and Tim Lambesis. But if you haven't seen these two videos, you can go watch them all the way through and get the full context. But here's the speed run for you. Tim Lambesis is the singer of As I Lay Dying. They're like a 2000s metalcore band, and way back in the day, he infamously tried to hire a hitman to off his wife. That didn't go as planned, because he accidentally hired somebody that was undercover at a gym. He ended up going to jail, only serving a couple years, like half of his sentence, got out, reformed as they lay dying. They go on a bit of a run, and earlier this year, about a month ago, all the members of as I lay dying start quitting the band one by one, putting up all their individual statements to the internet. Phil's Grosso was the last one to put a statement out, but apparently, according to Tim Lambesis, Phil's Grosso was the first one to get angry in this whole new drama or whatever, and then everyone else in support left the band, there was backlash, so then they all like supported one another, and that left Tim Lambesis on an island of his own. He's in another band, Australian Death Something Something, who gives a crap about that other band, but band members from that band are also quitting. People do not want to be around Tim Lambesis in any capacity. And all of those statements that the band members were putting out, they were citing moral issues. They were claiming safety problems. So we're thinking, oh man, this has got to be bad. Tim Lambesis is definitely relapsing into hitman type behavior. What could be going on? Now it's not clear if the videos that surfaced yesterday are directly tied to all the band members leaving, or if these videos that I'm about to get into are just linked through the behavior that Tim Lambesis is demonstrating in them. Now these videos are a little bit disturbing, also a little bit silly unfortunately, but because of the troubling, disturbing, dark nature of them, I'm not going to show them in their entirety here on the channel. They're on Twitter, they're on the internet, you can go see them if you want. But we'll go through them still frame a little bit. Here's Tim Lambesis sitting on the corner of a bed with his wife on the other corner of the bed here. They're having like a heated argument. This is a silent video so you can't really hear what they're like getting into, but it's relatively heated. He gets like way up in her face like this. This is some intimidating stuff. If you know Tim Lambesis, he's a big tattooed, muscly, scary ass individual and he's just up in her face screaming like crazy. Then he takes the corner back here like a crazy ass boxer and he's just going insane. Freaking out, red in the face, pounding his chest, gets back down into her face and then he starts punching himself in the face and beating his own chest. He goes absolutely roid rage Tarzan mode in this moment and it is frightening to see. And the reason why I say that it was kind of silly, even though this is not a silly situation, is because Tim Lambesis is just beating the crap out of himself really is quite the sight to see. And then in the second video clip that goes on over here, another argument, he flips the table, she screams at him, he chases her down, and then he goes absolutely wild, ballistic on his own face in this clip. Just right, left, right, left, absolutely manic. So again, I'm not sure if these specific video clips are what led to the band members leaving, or if it's the behavior that Tim clearly demonstrates in these videos. But if you think that's where the drama ended, no, because these videos hit the internet yesterday morning and then Tim right away put out a statement regarding them. Now normally when stuff goes out like this, you want to like consolidate some people. You maybe want to put out some words that are carefully crafted or whatever. You don't normally hit the internet right away, but Tim hit the internet right away. So we're going over to the best new site on all the internet. We're going over to rockfeed.instagram.com for Tim Lambesis's statement. You know we love a statement here on the channel. 
How is he going to justify those video clips? Let's just dive into the statement and go from there. <clears throat> it reads, There is currently a restraining order and a DV investigation being filed against Danny Norris, formerly Lambesis. Anything she is saying now is to distract people away from that to instead focus on my own inappropriate but not illegal reactions to these anxiety-inducing interactions. This woman assaulted me and verbally slash mentally abused me for over three years. I took the much needed and overdue step to leave her yesterday by delivering divorce papers. That is the reason there have been attempts at retaliation towards me online today that pale in comparison to what really be the focus of the courts. To what really be the focus, you say? Okay, very well written. We continue. The following evidences are a part of the case. Evidences, you say, Tim Lambesis. Okay, what are these evidences that you got for us? First point, multiple videos of her assaulting me. Okay, that's not good. Second point, videos of her chasing me around the house with a knife and scissors. Okay, all right. Third point, video of her insisting that I delete all other accounts of her physically assaulting me under the threat of her knocking me out with a weapon held over my head. All right. Seems like a good handful of evidences you got over there, Tim Lambesis. Looks like he got two more evidences. What were they? Photos of a black eye she gave me with witness accounts of the event. Okay. We saw how you just like laid into your own face, but go off. Last evidences being laid out here. Witness accounts of me being threatened if I try to leave, even temporarily. Oh my god, I just want this to be over, but he continues. I'm certain she will counter by trying to expose my anxiety-filled reactions and defenses, but please remember that reacting in a panic by hurting myself is far different than what I've listed above. The timing of these public attacks online are because I served her with divorce papers yesterday after many days of her pleading for me to stay while also flipping back and forth attempting to exert abuse of control. This is blatantly a retaliation for me finally leaving a relationship I should have run from a long time ago. Now, I don't know the actual timeline of how all this went down and what's actually true, but if these evidences are actually there and they've gone to the court and there is a case pending or whatever, then that just means that this is a developing story and there's going to be updates going from here. But then again, it's like a chicken and the egg type situation. If there are videos of her assaulting you and running around with scissors and all that sort of stuff, we also, as the public, have video evidence of you getting in her face, grabbing her by the arm, tossing tables, punching yourself in the face, beating your own chest, and just being a diabolical monster. So now, as somebody on the internet, how am I to know what comes caused what? But just based on what I'm seeing right now, those videos, everybody leaving your band, your history with hiring a hitman, going to jail, and all that sort of stuff, Tim Lambesis is the one that seems like the villain and the bad guy in this arc. And I've seen this going around a little bit that like, he didn't even do anything bad like he said in his statement. He's beating himself up. It's still kind of abusive to be screaming at someone to get in someone's face and then hit yourself. Hitting yourself is a very loaded thing to be doing in an argument. Like what could be going through your mind when you're hitting yourself? Are you trying to manipulate somebody into doing something? Are you trying to say, I'm actually a good guy because I'm not hitting you, I'm hitting me? Either way, hitting yourself in the middle of an argument sends the craziest signal in the world. So people asking, why are we mad at Tim? I don't know, bro. It seems like you might not have a lot of cognitive function going on upstairs. I hate to see stuff like this go down, but I knew there was going to be something else come out about Tim Lambesis because of the mysterious nature in which everybody is leaving all of his bands, citing moral and safety reasons and that kind of thing. Like, okay, yeah, this guy is being probably pretty abusive and manipulative, and that's the way it kind of seems in these videos. Now, once all these evidences go to court and there is something to come out of it, then we'll go from there, I guess. But for now, I'm hoping that this is the end of the Tim Lambesis story. Because I was so long when I said the As I Lay Dying situation can't get any worse, it has effectively gotten worse, and I do predict it is going to get even worse from here. This feels kind of like a halfway point. Silver lining, this divorce is a good thing. Danny, get away from that guy. Run as far away and as fast as you can. There needs to be as much distance as possible between those two human beings at this point, and it's great that that's finally happening. And since all this drama originally kicked off, As I Lay Dying actually released a record 
in the midst of all of this sort of stuff. And by the way, it sucked. I did listen to it. I hated it. But that's where the drama sits right now. I'm Dan Frampton. Thank you so much for watching.